What's going on, folks? Just a quick shout out. And uh, just wanted to show two things really quick. One is, if I can do this and, and record, uh, some of the fish food that I really like to feed the guys. Um, I like the Frozen, the Hakari brand, uh, specifically Frozen Bloodworms. They go nuts for that. There's previous videos for that. But this stuff right here, this stuff is great. Let's see if I can get a better picture if you see it. This stuff is really good. And what I like about this, if you notice, see that this is actually a granule. If you can kind of look, see the fine grain. But what's really neat about this is it will float and sink. And what I usually do, I'll take a pinch of it. Let me show you. If I can get some, I'm almost out here. But I will take a pinch of it like that. If you let's see, see that? And I'm gonna throw it really hard. Watch this. See if I can get this on camera. Alright, here I'm gonna throw it. Just like that. And then what happens is I instantly get some of these to fall. And so what you're gonna see, you're gonna see the uh, the cats come out. You'll see these guys. You'll see the quarries come out start eating it you'll see the glass cats come out and then in a lot of these bottom guys and then you'll notice even the angels and people will start start looking for it and then and then and then I've got the top people and especially like the hatchet fish these guys you'll see it as it's coming over they're gonna pick it up but the neat thing about that food is is you can instantly sink some, of, sink some of it and take care of these guys on the bottom and, and the glass cats come out, it's kind of neat and, uh, and then also take care of the top and everybody's happy which is kind of cool uh, one final thing, interesting point just look how good this uh, lace plant's doing got two new leaves shooting up there's this one here and there in the front, one near the back so it's, uh, I've got what? How many is that on there now? One, two, three, four, five. I don't know if you remember, but earlier I had to cut it all down because I had algae problems. And it's just bounced right back. Uh, I contribute dirt to that. Another thing I wanted to point out that dirt does for you. That is a dwarf um, baby tears. Some people call it HC. And I, I, I'm not even going to try to pronounce what that is. And that's a female blue ram, and there's, there's hubby, good, good, good looking couple. But anyway, that's dwarf baby tear right there, and it is doing well. It, it's getting a little bit of light right now because I've got, I've got uh, for about four hours, I had these blue lights T5 HOs come on in the front, and that was just enough to bump. And if, and if you guys check previous vi videos, what was going on is I had algae problems. And uh, that's the danger that a lot of people, when you start adding more light and get light hungry, uh, if you're not doing CO2, you're going to have algae problems. But anyway, um, this is dwarf baby tear with dirt. Check this out. This is dwarf baby tear with no dirt. It's on a rock. It's just getting uh, light and nutrients from the water. And it's not doing that well, I don't think. Pretty thin fading out not that great but there's no dirt and there's dirt and I'll, I'll keep keep you guys abreast of that but uh, dirt I'm telling you say what you want but I've never had a banana plant do that uh, but anyway you guys take care I appreciate all the comments on the tank and uh, hope everybody have a great weekend and just really quick I'll let you see I got that fan running when the highlights run just to keep keep everything at a good temperature and I don't think I'm going to have to have that fan much longer. It's starting to get cold. So, But anyway, uh, appreciate all the nice words and comments and compliments on the tank and uh, check everybody out on Fish Tank TV and you guys have a great one. Have a great weekend everybody. See ya.